How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be deadlifting at the end of my mini cut. So I'm going to assume you do not know what mini cut is but in short a mini cut is a very intense dieting period about four to six weeks where you lose a lot of weight about 10 to 15 pounds of body mass in which you'll look pretty sick in the short run but also you'll feel pretty crappy. So I did this because I got pretty hefty looking after my powerlifting phase where I wasn't quite fat yet but if i continued in this dieting phase where i kept eating high calories and kept going the path i was going i would definitely gain a lot of long-term fat which would take a lot of time to get rid of which yes of course not aesthetically pleasing but more importantly it's bad for your health to be carrying all this extra mass not great on the heart and you're just better off being able to be a little bit leaner and not being out of breath from going upstairs like having basic fitness in your training for hypertrophy is underrated and if you want to maximize your hypertrophy training for powerlifting then you have to have fitness, which is kind of funny because you have to go full circle. You get strong, unhealthy. Then after you realize, wait a second, if I want to get even stronger, I need to have my hypertrophy. But then you realize I can't even do hypertrophy because I'm out of breath all the time. So what do you have to do? Mini cut for powerlifting to get leaner, more solid mass. So anyways, I've done that and I'm lean enough. You'll see my physique at the end of this video, but I haven't deadlifted for about two months where I've done close to singles and I decided to see where I'm at at the end of this mini cut mostly for social media and YOLOing for the sakes of YOLOing. 635 for three was what I did previous to this and I was like hey this felt pretty good let's go 685 and see how it goes then it went up and then I tried 705 which is right now. move pretty damn good. Honestly, if I was more recovered physically, I'm pretty sure I'd have a little bit more in my system to pull something heavier, like closer to 725. But obviously, because I'm on the mini cut, I'm not 100% recovered. The glycogen, the muscles kind of lacking and I feel kind of strainy all the time. The leverages from losing that little belly of mine that I had earlier, a lot more comfortable in my starting position, which is pretty underrated. Especially if you have a weak deadlift, try to lose some of that belly fat. You could feel a lot stronger by just bracing better. Um, but anyways, this day was a leg day. I am going hack squat mode and to your leg day focus. Ass to grass, well, as deep as I could without my ankles coming off of the pad. And yeah, I actually put on seven plates and it was a little bit too heavy, but it's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. I don't really count how strong I am on these lifts anymore. I'm the overall gist of the movement to build the quads because that's like one of the weaker body parts of my physique. But since I've bulked in my powerlifting blocks the last three months, my legs have made a lot of progress and I've kept a lot of lean mass. For example, before I started this bulk, I was sitting at around 212 pounds, pretty lean about the same body composition that I'm at right now. Now I'm sitting at about 217 pounds. Uh, and you might not think that's much, but for leanish mass, that's actually huge. And I'm happy to say that I think a lot of that weight of the five pounds went to my legs, which again, doesn't sound like much, but when your legs are pretty skinny like mine, adding a little bit of mass will take it a long way to not looking as imbalanced for my physique. I definitely have a more dominant upper body than lower body. And what I could say is that I am so happy I did this mini cut because if you get really heavy and lifting and you just expect to go from powerlifting training to hypertrophy training, without any fitness check, meaning that you don't really care about your fitness and you think you just go full throttle in hypertrophy, you're gonna get a quick reality check where you're gonna feel like puking, your heart's gonna be pounding, and you're not gonna feel so great. So definitely consider dropping your volume while cutting so you can increase your fitness, which kind of sounds backwards, but essentially it's a good break for your body to get used to all the moving variables in your training. And so yeah, that's what I've done. Dropped my volume for everything. Still training pretty frequently, about six days a week, but having enough volume to recover in between sessions and not doing a whole lot for my legs. As you saw, I did a total of three exercises plus adductors, and it's not a whole lot for the quads, even for the glutes, if you're counting the deadlifts. Now, here's my physique at 217 pounds. I am decently lean, also found the best lighting. This video was taken from an upper body day as well, and yeah, pretty happy where I've come with this mini cut, but I'm also looking forward to be on the surplus to actually start making progress again, because I'm going to do a powerlifting meet probably early September after my travels. So yeah, hope you like this video, like, subscribe, comment below, peace out.